Well, my friends, hello and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going over five different variations of the pop shove it, how to spice it up. Let's get into it. Right, so we all know the backside shove it. A real simple trick, great for beginners. I'm gonna teach you five different ways to level it up and just switch it up a bit so that when you're playing skate or just cruising around at the park, you've got a few extra party tricks to show the boys and or impress that young lady friend you've got your eye on. So the first one is simple. It's the regular shove it, but we're gonna catch it with one foot and make it look a bit jazzy. Some people don't like this, some people do, so it's up to you and I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop and when we pop, we're gonna lead it with this front foot and try and catch with the front foot with the back foot extended out. This is known to Holly behind the camera as the stanky leg. This is the most basic one of the video. The other four are absolute bangers. So this is just to get this one out of the way quickly. So leading it with the front foot should look a little something like that. How much you want to extend that back foot out is up to you. And a great way to practice this one is with a carpet board actually. Say you don't have the trucks and wheels, you can literally just shove it with that back foot and try land onto the front foot on a carpet board and then take it to one of these. I'm terrible at getting my legs straight in the air after flicking it. But remember, pop with the back foot, jump with the back foot, and aim to catch with just the front foot. And that is the front foot catch shove it. And a good one should look a little something like this. So the next one is the shove it body vario. Now this one is probably the most difficult of the list. Basically what you want to do is give it a really light little shove it like that. You don't even need to pop it. If anything, when you pop it, it's going to make it much more difficult to get over it. So we're going to do a baby shove it. And as we do it, I skate regular. So I'm facing this way. Do the shove it. And I'm going to jump and face this way. If you skate goofy, which is right foot forward, you're going to shove it like this. And you're going to go like that way. So in a perfect world, the shove it sex change should look a little something like this. That was a bit sketchy. I did do a 10 out of 10 clean one. But guess what? I missed it. She forgot to record it. So remember, this one is all practice and it's gonna take a while. When you first start learning this one, it becomes really difficult to get used to doing the shove it and also spinning your body at the same time. When I first started learning it, even with years of experience prior to that, it took me a while to get used to the movements. So just take your time and keep in the back of your head that this takes a while. So this one, give it a lot of practice, give it a lot of time, try not to get frustrated. And after a while, you should end up with something like this. Hey. <laughs> All right, so number three, the Shove It Reaver. This is probably my favorite out of the list, apart from the last one, which you're gonna have to stick to the end for. That, my friend, is called a retention hack. Anyway, let's get into this one. Up the ramp, Shove It Reaver. So we're gonna do a normal shove it. We're gonna try and land on the nose like this and go as soon as we land, right? A reaver, in case you didn't know, it's just a 180 on the floor where your wheels don't come up. Now, this one can also be done as a little pivot as well. A great way to practice it. If you've never done a reaver or anything, a great way to practice it is just put your ball on the floor and then just jump onto it and do the reaver as if you've just done the trick in the air. So it'll look a little something like this. You can do it as a pivot as well. It really doesn't matter. It would still count in skate. We just call it shove it reaver because it sounds cool. So again, to practice it, send your board on its way, gear up your jump get the reaver on first. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the shove it and we're gonna do the reaver straight afterwards. So quick shove it, and the reaver straight away. Doing that is gonna get you used to doing the shove and then the reaver. Start off by doing it shove, wait a couple seconds, then reaver. Slowly take away that time in the middle till you do shove, one second reaver, and before you know it, you should end up with something like this. That's also a bit aggressive, but I'll take it. Another variation of this is the big spin. If for those of you who don't know, a big spin is a shove it combined with a 180. The easiest variation of this is the fakie big spin. So I'm gonna need you to run down on that one. So it's very similar to the shove it revert, except this time we're not gonna revert the opposite way to the board spins. We're gonna keep the rotation moving with the board. So fakie big spin being the easiest, start with a fakie shove it, and then finish the rotation. So now that we're facing normal instead of fakie, which if you didn't know, fakie just means you're riding backwards. So this is normal, that way's fakie. I'm riding in fakie, I'm gonna do my shove it, finish the big spin, just like that. The big spin is doing that all in one motion, which I'm gonna show you right now. Definitely one of the easiest tricks, despite how it might look. I learned this before I learned kickflip, before I learned pretty much any trick. As soon as I could shove it, I was learning big spins. It's a great little morale boosting trick, if you ask me. I'm not gonna cover it fully in this video because I did release a full tutorial on it like last week. So go check that out after this video. Let's get on to the final and best shove it variation. Now this one is my personal favorite and it's almost guaranteed to get your mates on a letter and skate. And yes, it's actually a legal variation of the shove it. And that is the one foot shove it. So this one is all in the foot position, right? I'm gonna go over it and just a second, but when you actually can do it properly, should look a little something 
like that. Hard in theory, but a lot easier to learn than you might think for this one. It's literally all in the foot position. And I'm gonna say, this one may not be for complete beginners because you do have to be able to balance on one foot on your nose, which is quite a, uh, it's a bit of an ask if you're already struggling to ride with two feet on the board. So if, maybe leave this one for the future if you're not feeling comfortable doing that. But for those of you that are comfortable, my God, you're in for a treat. So like I said, it's all in the foot position. Let me come up and give you a real quick rundown on what the foot position is. So for this, you're gonna wanna have your foot not too far forward because if you have it too far forward it's going to be almost impossible to balance and keep the board from doing this so what we're going to do is we're going to have the ball of our foot on about this area here so just where it starts to go from flat to nose we're going to have the ball of our foot there and i'm also going to suggest that you have the foot at a slight angle not 90 degrees not quite 45 just at a slight angle like this maybe a 20 30 degree angle because you're pushing slightly more on the right side it's going to cause the board to go this way the physics of the skateboard you'll learn over time but basically you flip it this if you hit it on this side it's going to go that way hit it on that side it's going to go that way it really is as simple as that just learning it over time is the key so i'll say it first for this one just practice riding in that position and then just try to do the shove it but don't fully commit to it yet just to get yourself comfortable in that position so we're going to keep this foot out of the way and it's going to take a while to get used to because trust me, this one took me a while to learn. At least to learn consistently. To land it the first time was pretty quick, but to actually get it so you can feel like you can do it every time is a different story. Everything as I told you, and just like that. This one is gonna be a while to learn, but follow these steps and you'll have it in no time. Video over. 